All right, guys. <clears throat> so I'm just going to try to capture this for everybody that uh, missed the uh, room today. Do a little recap of what we're doing. We've got uh, 24 after the hour. Been uh, up and running here for just about an hour. And uh, we've taken uh, one trade in crude oil today. That's the trade of the day. You can see here. Uh, shorted this market at uh, 940 with a turbo scalp short inside of bear zone one. You can see the Gnostic levels there. So we're clearly in the bear zone, about halfway into the bear zone. Uh, did a, a three lot trade here. <clears throat> Took uh, two of the three off at my first profit target here, uh, four minutes into the trade. And then what I did is something that really makes a difference between uh, great traders and mediocre traders. The mediocre traders are the ones that see a lot of break-even days. Um, I added to the position, and I did that roughly 15 minutes later. We had some inertia. I like to refer to it as the 10 o'clock turn. We had some volume come in. We had a push, and I added. And I just two minutes ago took one of the two remaining lots off, locking in profit. And the reason why I did that is because we have a report coming out in uh, five minutes for natural gas. And that could affect this market. So uh, rather than being greedy and waiting for both of the lots to get off at the bottom, again, started to uh, <clears throat> uh, lean out of the trade. Still have one working. I'm using a lazy river trail stop, which is that moving average, the white line in the middle. And I'm keeping my stop three ticks above the last previous bar, which in this case needs to be at 83. This is uh, live trading that you're seeing here. This is not a uh, this is not a uh, replay of simulated. This is live. We are 10:26. You can see my computer clock down at the bottom. Uh, this line right here is just uh, an indicator of the new low. I'm just trying to kind of eyeball every time we put a new low in. And you can see my profit target at the bottom of the zone. Trying to take that last one off. We got uh, 525 open trade equity. Got a couple of other positions right now. So between all three positions I currently have, we got about $600 uh, of open trade equity. Let's take a look at those other two positions. Uh, one of those would be here in the Dow. And it's been a choppy market really inside of the first bull zone. And uh, we're seeing some sign of life are breaking out of it, but I took a trade long above the top Bollinger here. Just doing a one lot, trying to make sure that I don't give back a lot of profits that I've worked really hard on in the crude oil. So keeping a stop three ticks below the moving average, lazy river trail stop. So we've got about eh, $50 at risk. And if you see the S&P in the upper right hand corner here, our market uh, is just begging to go higher. But really just because of what happened yesterday, a relentless market putting in all time highs. Um, you know, we've touched that in the London session, touched it here early in the morning, and it's just kind of sifting back and forth. Sooner or later, we'll break out. And then uh, the last one is the gold. And by the way, just got stopped out of that last position in the crude, so I'm now flat. We got uh, natural gas reporting here in literally two minutes. I'll show you what that looks like. And the last one to talk about is um, uh, this gold that's really been. Uh, my thorn in my side all morning. Um, been trying to break out. Did a short, stopped out, minimal loss. Did another short using the band. Didn't want to have any piece or part of it. Stopped out using the trailing stop. And this is my third attempt. And as you can see here, I'm break even at this minute. I'm not going to allow gold to take any more money from my bag. <laughs> uh, but we just haven't had any consistency. It's been kind of stuck. Yeah, about 25% of the way into the uh, bear zone. And got to be in it to win it. So, yes, I took a third trade here. And that might be coming to an end here very short. Uh, got the Dow starting to rally up. So I'll just put the uh, Dow, or I'll keep the gold right here on the left. Got the Dow right here in the middle and in the very middle I'm going to put uh, natural gas because I want you guys to see what this baby's about to do on reporting day and I took a trade off I was going to keep a position trade here at my crosshair using the RQ channel another great indicator that we have as quant traders provided by Rios Quant 
You can go to riasquant.com to get more information of indicators that we use here in the trade lab. And uh, I took it off because uh, my other trades are doing well, so I didn't want to go into a high risk market on a reporting day. And we're 15 seconds away where you're going to see usually a pretty fast market. So watch this. You see the bar timer in seven seconds, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so I would have been filled short. I was looking for a exit at the bottom. Now, where would my stop have been? Now, you can use the opposite Gnostic levels. Uh, you can use the first level on the inside. Let's put that little marker. You could use a stop here. You could use a stop here. It's really what you're comfortable with in terms of risk. This would have been the entry point. You can use that as a target, that as a target, this as a target. Got some nice movement happening here on the S&P, starting to break back up. Taking advantage of uh, what has been one of the leaders today. And how do I know it's been one of the leaders outside of just looking at the chart? Well, we use our market analyzer. And if you look at the net change, uh, NASDAQ, Dow, S&P. You see the consistencies between the 1, 3, 8, and 48 hours? Really, the NASDAQ has been the baller. It's been the strongest market all day. And look who's getting ready to drop again, the gold. Why is that? Well, gold, one of the laggards. Crude oil, biggest laggard. I took advantage of that market. We just looked at natural gas, silver, gold. And so open trade equity between both of these positions is now almost $200. New low and crude, by the way. Don't really care about that anymore since I'm not in that market, but just that bring that to your attention. One more time, another look at, oh, before I do that, let me just adjust my stop. This is a, an example of what trailing a stop looks like. See the moving average, the white line? Uh, the close of the last bar, uh, that was 54. I'm going to keep it three ticks below that, so that's 51. And that is almost break even now. And I just let that run and use that moving average as a trailer. Pretty simple. It's all about simplicity. And I know it looks complex, but guys, it's all about simplicity and it's all about uh, making wiser, smarter trades that I like to say are based on logic. The logic I'm talking about is found right here with the correlations for risk on, risk off. And the logic I'm talking about specifically is based on these four guys. The next stream, which I just showed, showed you that are available inside of the Market Analyzer of Ninja, based on our indicators, the plug-in, the trend, the zone, the sentiment. Bada bing, bada boom. So, for those of you guys watching this video, tomorrow is Friday the 10th. Get your butt in here. Be a part of it. Be my guest. I hope you enjoyed this video.